everyone. It's a beautiful, warm, sunshiny day here in Southern California. So it's May 1st. Happy May Day to everyone. We're going to go into Rite Aid. I need toilet paper and paper towels and I need a deal on it. So let's go see what we can get. First thing that we're going to do is pick up a lonely stray cart in the parking lot. Take him in so he can shop. Let's see if there's any uh, coupons in here. Check the other one. Okay, we didn't find any coupons in the trash, but there might be some purchase based coupons printing off today. That's what we're hoping for. It would be nice to go in with one, but maybe one will print and then I can use it at the register. do the Procter & Gamble Charmin and Bounty deal because if you spend 60 you get $20 back in bonus cash and also if you spend 60 you get $15 back in bonus cash we have that it should be in the ad right there it's not in this one but if you just go to your Rite Aid app or check your email you can find the coupon and they can scan it from your phone the music is too loud Okay, this is how my cart looks. Nothing is marked, so I hope it all works out. I'm going to pick up two Charmin. I'm going to get rid of that one. Two Bounties. One of these floss things. I hope it's on sale and it's part of the deal for $6.99. And one Tide for $12.94. That equals a little bit over $60. And I'm going to use the Spin 60 get $15 back in bonus cash. And there's some load. There's a $3 load and a dollar load each for the Tide and the Bounty. There may be a load for this one. I'm not sure, but I'll get $2 back from my bottom for this. I'll get $15 for the barcode, $20 for doing the deal two times, which is $35. And I'll submit my receipt to PNG rebate thing and get $15 back. So minus the, then the $2 on I bought it. So it'll be about $8 plus tax for everything. And that's a fantastic deal because I need toilet paper really bad. So I'm very excited for this deal. Okay, I am back from Rite Aid and this all turned out so magnificent and glorious. This was an absolutely great, glorious, glitchiest, wonderful deal ever. I was just thinking yesterday that I, I'm really, really low on Charmin and I want to do that PNG rebate where you spend 50 and you get 15 back, but it's too hard to do on a million different receipts. So I'm just going to go into Walmart and buy me $50 worth of Charmin and use my Ibotta gift cards and just submit one receipt and get $15 back. But Rite Aid called me this morning and said, no, you don't have to do that. I got a deal for you. You can do it all on one receipt and it'll be easy and you'll make money doing it. So that's what I did. It was fantastic. So I showed you the Procter & Gamble deal in the store. You spend, six, you spend 30, you get back 10. So I did it two times. I got three of the Charmins at $10.49, one Bounty at $10.49. I got this gloss at $6.99. It did count towards the deal. They didn't have any tags anywhere. So you just kind of had to shop blind and hope that it all worked out, which is what I did. I got the Tide Liquid for $12.94. I thought I had a $3 load, and I thought I had a dollar load on that. They did not work. But I did have a dollar load on one of the Charmins and one of the Bounties, so that did work. So... I'll show you my receipt and tell you how it all played out and everything because it was great. Great and glorious glitches. So there's the Charmin, two of them, and then there's one with the dollar load, and there's the Bounty with the dollar load, and there's the Tide for $12.94 and the Oral B for $6.99. So I paid $64.69. I got back $50 in bonus cash. 
So I got 15 for the spin 60, get 15 back barcode. I also got $10 twice for the Procter & Gamble bar deal. And then I got some mystery $15 in bonus cash. And it says online, what does it say down here? I'll show you. Online only any items, $15 back. So I got 15 back in bonus cash. So I spent 64, but I got $50 back in bonus cash. So right there is only $14.69 for everything, including tax. But then I'll submit to that Procter & Gamble rebate with my one tiny receipt, just one. I don't have to submit a million because it's hard doing those Procter & Gamble rebate when you have a bunch of different receipts i tried it i couldn't do it it would only accept one receipt and so i lost out the last time i did it and i only got five dollars back but this time everything's on one receipt so it should work so that makes everything 469 but i'll get 15 back from that procter and gamble rebate and then two dollars for my bottle for the floss so it makes all of this a $2.31 money maker. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rite Aid. I appreciate that. Then I got all thinking, well, I'll just do another transaction since I'm making all this extra glitchy money, but uh, I didn't get no glitch on this transaction. So this was also a spend 60, get $15 back in bonus cash that I was going to do. And I got, I had... 16 of these i had 12 of the peach these are these five hour energy drinks they had restocked the store so i was finally able to get some and then i got four of the grape but i only got so the deal is there four for ten and you get ten dollars back in bonus cash you can do it four times i only got thirty dollars back in bonus cash i had forgotten that i had done it last night one time so that's why I didn't get the extra on that. Then I was going to do the cereal breakfast deal where you spend 20 and you get $5 back in bonus cash. And we need Starbucks coffee. They're $7.99. And then the special K is supposed to be two for six. I had a dollar off two coupon. And then there's re I bought a rebate offer as well. They didn't ring up as part of the deal and they did not ring up two for six. And as I said... Nothing was tagged in the store, so it was just shopping blind. So I did not get the $5 back for that. But I did return those four grape ones that I did not get the bonus cash back for, even though I just now realized, oh, that's why I didn't get it. It's because I did it last night. So I'll show you my receipt on that, this one. And this one did not glitch and give me that $15 extra online thing, even though I did this like 12 minutes after the first receipt. So there's my coffee, there's my special case that did not ring up two for six, there's the other Starbucks, there's the three that I returned, and then there's another one down here that I returned, and I got my $10 back for that. So for this one I spent $65.86, and I got back $45 in bonus cash, and I returned those four, so I got a an additional $10 in bonus cash. So I got $55 back in bonus cash and I spent $65. So all this was $10, which is fine because I was happy to get coffee for that. So that works out. And then I'll get I bought a rebate on that. So that works out. Uh, has anybody uploaded your receipt to Kellogg's Family Rewards? I have tried to upload my receipt and it makes me pick a file on my phone. So I have to pick a picture on my phone instead of using my camera and none of the pictures work because they're not JPEG or whatever format they're supposed to be. So is anybody had any trouble uploading, uploading to Kellogg's Family Rewards? I cannot get it to work. So if you have and you know how to do it, let me know in the comments down below. I'd appreciate some any help I can get on that. So that's everything that I got. Super happy with this really nice money maker because I really needed that, and I was really happy to get Charmin. So that's what I got. Are you guys getting that glorious, uh, grand, glitchy, extra bonus cash? If you are, what are you buying to get it? Um, as I said, it worked on this one, but it did not work on this one. So I don't know if they 
if the deal is dead already or if it's still going. And I didn't even know it was going to happen, but then I had heard about it a little bit after I did it, but I didn't have a lot of time to be checking my phone for messages and seeing what everybody else was getting because I was busy this afternoon. But yeah, I don't know if it's still going on, but if it is and you're still doing it, let me know in the comments down below. I did get some purchase base coupons after I checked out that I was going to use on this one, but do you think I could find it in the three minutes from the time I got it to the time I checked out, no, I'd already lost it. But I did eventually find it. So I will be going back and using purchase base coupons this week and getting more stuff. I just don't know what yet. But that's what I got. What are you guys getting? I'd love to know. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Everybody have a safe, wonderful, and happy Sunday. Bye.